this guy here is mark and in this video he'll be going down so let's get started to mark down so hey everyone and in this video we'll be looking at markdown what exactly a markdown format is how you can use the markdown format uh, where you need to use the markdown format and uh, how you can use the markdown format and uh, that is we'll look into the syntax of markdown let's get started so first of all let us have a look at what exactly markdown is so markdown is a lightweight markup language so markdown is ex actually a language uh, it is used for creating formatted text using a plain text editor so um, looking deeper uh, markdown is actually a kind of a uh, mixture between the normal text format and the html format so in markdown you can write normal text form write in a normal text format as well as you can write html code in that as well so it is a lightweight tool in a sense that uh, you can use the both kind of languages and you can work with both in markdown format so uh, looking forward looking forward uh, here is a little bit of history about markdown and uh, so what we have is a markdown cheat sheet uh, open in github so first of all let's have a look at where exactly markdown format is used all the readmes in github use the markdown format uh, also various blog various blog blogging websites use the markdown format so that you can modify your content uh, markdown format is also used in various other fields such as uh, uh, if you use jupyter notebooks uh, you can write markdown code there as well and there are many much places where you can directly use markdown uh, so uh, and also you can convert markdown into a pdf format and much more so it uh, also provides interconvertibility so uh, now uh, let us have a look at how we can use markdown uh, so in for the video we are using the v visual studio code uh, i have the v vs codium installed in my uh, system uh, the system i'm using is parrot os so i have this visual visual studio code extension known as markdown all in one downloaded in my visual studio code so uh, we'll use the extension to directly see the changes in our uh, in our markdown for file file only and uh, we'll be and we'll be using this github repository uh, that is a markdown cheat sheet to uh, learn more and uh, we'll uh, do the practical implementation directly in our visual studio code so let's get started so first of all i have this visual studio code open uh, let me open a folder so um, I have so this is my system uh, I am creating a folder known as markdown and uh, and yeah, I, I am selecting the folder ok so now I have my fo I have opened my folder let's create a, a simple file so let us name it sample.md so md is the extension of markdown files uh, similar to .txt for text files .html for html files and uh, um, similarly first of all let us use the extension so that we can directly see our results so i am pressing the f1 key in my browser and uh, let us search for markdown and see what we can see here so yes there is this open preview option so uh, i am opening this open preview option so now i have this preview sample open here now um, let us now uh, dig deeper to the markdown syntax so uh, if you are familiar with HTML, there are six header tags in HTML: H1, H2, to H6. So, uh, in a similar way for Markdown, uh, instead of directly using H1, what you use is hash. So, um, for example, I'm I'm using hash, and uh, let us write this is my H1. Okay. So, uh, I'm saving the file. Let us see on preview so yes this is my h1 you can directly see so um, in a similar way uh, we can use the two hashes for this is my h2 uh, let us save and see the preview so yes this is my h2 so uh, in a similar way uh, as you can see in the cheat sheet as always uh, you can find the link to the cheat sheet in the uh, description so uh, in a similar way uh, you can use text up to h6 so uh, let us use h6 also 
uh, for using h6 what you just need to use is you to use six hashes in a line so uh, yes here is uh, and this is my h6 so yeah in a in a similar way you can write any kind of heading that you want uh, let me also increase the size so in a similar way let us look at some more syntax so alternatively for h1 and underline is tag okay so if you want an underline uh, so let us say for example i want underline here and uh, so to do that you can use the equal to sign uh, below your uh, heading and uh, i can save and see the preview here so yeah as you can see uh, here is the underline um, that i can see so uh, to get underline you just need to write your text and write equal to signs be, uh, below that so um, you can look for more syntax here also uh, in the cheat sheet that uh, i provided um, so okay now now all now let us also have a look at some emphasis emphasizes like uh, how to make text italic how to make a text bold uh, some asterisks and underscores how you can add them so uh, to make something uh, italics what you need to use is a star so star i want this italic uh, and you close the star and as you can see uh, it is even uh, showing italic here also and uh, if we can see in preview the test is now italic so uh, in a similar way uh, if you if you need to use a bold format uh, we need to, to use two stars and then i want this bold bold and uh, yes so as you can see the text is now bold so yeah um, let's also have a look at some more uh, uh, things that you can do so to use strike true you can use the tildes uh, so you need to use two tildes uh, for that you need to use the shift and the uh, button just below your escape key so yes this is tilde and uh, uh, yeah scratch this and uh, we close it so yeah as you can see directly here also uh, the text is now um, is scratched so you can we can also see this in the preview so yes this is how we can add emphasis to our text now let us see how you can how we can use list in our markdown format so to use list uh, what you need to use is a minus sign and the list name so this is item 1 uh, this is item 2 and uh, let us save and see the preview so yes uh, as you can see this is how we can add unordered list in our markdown format uh, now to you now to add ordered list uh, what you need to do is to uh, just add this one dot and uh, then uh, this is item one now on pressing enter you will automatically uh, get the increase in your number so this is item two and uh, yes, three and in a similar way you can use the ordered list as well here so uh, in this way you can add your list uh, you can see some more formatting in so now now to add links in your markdown format what you need to use is this syntax uh, that is two opening brackets two opening and closing brackets and then the small curly braces so uh, so to use links uh, let us see let us say this is similar to an a tag of html so what you can do is uh, you can add the inside tag of inside title of a tag here so uh, this will be shown and you can uh, use your link here such as https uh, semicolon dot co let us say so uh, in this way let us see the preview it is shown exactly as a link uh, on clicking the link you will get you can go to the website directly so uh, and also you can use the html syntax directly here so for example let us say a, a h r e f equal to uh, https colon dot co and uh, let us say this will also work and let me close my a tag so uh, on checking the preview as you can see this this is also working so you can directly also use the html syntax and it should work just fine but uh, 
uh, for simplicity uh, you can use the core markdown format as well so looking forward we have used the a text in our uh, our uh, um, in our markdown format we have seen how to how we can add an add a link to a website in the uh, markdown format now uh, yeah looking forward let us see how we can add an logo or any image in our markdown format so as you can see in the cheat sheet what you need to use is a uh, exclamation mark and then a link similar to the uh, website link which we have used uh, but uh, we can also add an a tag here uh, it add an alt tag here uh, which will be shown in case image fails to load okay so first of all let us uh, get a link to an png file so um, the best way I can think of is to blog is our blog website. So um, I'm going to our blog website blog.semicolon.co and uh, I'll just get a path to any image from there. So yes, uh, let us get the first image only. Yes, so we have got the path to the PNG file. So yes, let us uh, use that for our practical demo. So uh, let us uh, use the same format that we have used earlier. So uh, this is the image alt text and uh, here is the image link and uh, hopefully we should see the preview in our uh, uh, markdown previewer and as you can see we can directly use the image in this way so um, let us move further uh, now uh, you can also add your code directly in markdown format so as you can see uh, markdown is a great way like we can add uh, direct HTMLs, we can add images we can do almost anything we can even add code here in, as an inline block so um, let us see how we can do that also so yes uh, for example let us say we have a javascript code that i need to add in the markdown format so uh, basically this is this is used a lot in case of blog and uh, github readmes as well so uh, for example you infrequently you deal with such kind of codes in markdown format so uh, to do that to use the code directly in your markdown uh, what you need to do is again to press the key below your escape key in your keyboard uh, that is um, i'm using the key and uh, you need to use the use the back ticks three times and then you need to tell the markdown what is the language you are dealing with so let us say here we are using python and uh, I can add the python code here so let us say for example t equal to int input yeah uh, just an example code so um, then I can close my python code uh, let us also say print t and uh, let us close the code here so uh, that's it let us see the preview now um, so as you can see so as you can see uh, let us go back go downwards and yes I can see my python code here now um, in a similar way I can use the javascript code by uh, just by switching to javascript here and writing the javascript code and I can use many other languages here also uh, I can also use direct code syntaxes, syntaxes uh, without directly telling the uh, computer that telling the markdown that we are using python or any specific language uh, I can just uh, uh, write any code here uh, int input and it will work just fine so yeah uh, yes as you can so in this way you can directly add code in your markdown format now uh, you can also use tables in your markdown format directly so uh, here is a sample example in our uh, uh, cheat sheet so uh, how you can do that is uh, colons can be used to align columns so the format here is uh, uh, similar to this one so let us just copy paste this and we'll uh, explain this one by one so I'm co I have copied the whole code I have pasted it and let us see the preview and it should work just fine so yes he, this is how you can see a table so now let us also explain this one by one so uh, what we have here are three columns and uh, uh, some rows so first of all first of all you need to separate the columns uh, by using this pipe pipe here so uh, you put this pipe and then you put your first column name then again pipe then your second column name and uh, in a similar way uh, you can end your table with a pipe and you can start your table with a pipe also so uh, 
uh, then uh, after the pipe what we can see is a uh, simple line so we have already uh, used this line line in a previous code uh, if you remember for the code for the underline uh, uh, the code which is used for underline purposes so uh, we can use the same here then uh, we can put the uh, next then we can put the data in our table uh, in a similar way and so on we can also like uh, uh, if you want this data to be bold we can use the bold syntax here you can use the italic syntax and uh, much more so this is how you can uh, use tables directly in your markdown also now uh, moving further you can use the black quotes as well in markdown format so for example you need to use a quote that is some quotation marks and then your uh, text so you can do that also in markdown so to do that uh, let us see an example what you need to use is a greater than sign so yes a greater than sign and then this is my quote and let us save and see the preview so so yes uh, as you can see in the preview uh, you can see a quote here as well so uh, this is how you can use black block quotes also in markdown format uh, we have already saw that we can also directly use the html syntax in markdown now uh, moving further uh, what you can do is uh, you can use the hyphens you can use asterisks to get this uh, divider section uh, we have already covered that also uh, and uh, you can check out more in the cheat sheet uh, you can also use the line breaks here so uh, for the line break you can also use the br tag which is used in html and you can just directly uh, press enter and uh, your line will break so um, we can also directly embed youtube videos so um, um, so you there are two methods that you can use uh, actually there are two methods that you can use in almost every section of markdown one is html and the other is the pure markdown syntax so uh, we can use both uh, for example for a youtube video uh, we can put an a tag for the youtube video then we can put an image src which is the uh, thumbnail of our youtube video and then put the video here and then you can also use the pure uh, pure markdown format um, the almost the, which will almost do the similar thing but in markdown format so uh, these are all the basic syntax syntaxes of markdown that we have covered in the video so what we have done is that we have added heading text we have added underlines to our code we have used italic bold and other formats we have uh, used the list format we have uh, used the a text uh, that is we have uh, directly shown the links uh, we have also directly shown some images we have used the, we have shown code in our markdown format we have shown tables and we have shown shown block codes so um, this is all you can do with markdown format it is also used in uh, various blogging websites and uh, uh, a lot in github readme's as well and various other readme's of of other softwares also uh, you can find the markdown format so uh, this is all about markdown thank you for watching and that's it for this video